And right now, new this morning, poison could be lingering in your drinking water. Not in your sides, Palosuro takes a look at the steps to worry about and what they're putting into your mouth when it comes to your water. In seven hours, up to 240 water samples are tested in this lab at Greater Cincinnati Waterworks. It could be a bathroom sink. Anything that water can come out of, we test the lead level in it. These bottles have water from dozens of different daycares and schools in Cincinnati. That's because lead in water is a concern when it comes to children. Children drink a lot of water. Formula fed babies drink a lot of baby formula. I don't want anybody's child to be exposed to lead. Cincinnati is an older system, so back in 1927, about that time, prior to that, a lot of the lead service lines that we have in our system that take the water from the main and the street and bring it into the houses was made of lead. That year, service lines switched from lead to copper, which is why older buildings are more at risk. They certainly would have the older leaded solder that used to connect the internal plumbing. They would have the older brass fittings for the internal plumbing. The treatment process in Waterworks also helps to reduce the risk. We do adjust the chemistry to minimize the uh, potential of lead in our, the lead service lines. Whether you're drinking from a lead or copper service line, the water tastes the same. So Waterworks is encouraging you to check at home. All you need is a coin, scratch it. If it comes out shiny, then it's a lead pipe. And they also have a video of that on their website. We'll have all that information on WC. CPO.com. Paolo Soro 9 on your side. Waterworks also offers a service to get your water tested for you. They'll also send you a kit to check your lead levels for free. They usually cost about $20 to $30 per sample.